Well, here we go. We got the primer and the first coat all done on the uh, 6x6 deuce and a half project. And it looks pretty good. I got nice even coats in there. And uh, we'll eventually get the glass in there, the plexiglass, and pull the tape off of the uh, lights and the trail and the uh, lockout uh, directional lights, what are they called, whatever fender lights but uh it doesn't have inside of it it doesn't have the uh underneath the fender uh vents for the engine but that's okay there's enough detail in it that i'm happy with it it's a pretty good job um for that here we have the body or the uh, frame of the truck and it's hung up here by what an actual miniaturized um, military hook cable setup that's going to be that's part of the design element of the of the whole uh, truck and that'll be wrapped around the bumper when everything's done um, coat came out real even I'm real pleased with the coat in here uh, on this truck uh, I'm gonna turn it around here you can see I taped off around the tire instead of removing it because um, the rim itself is already olive drab and as well as any of the accessories that are all around it just wanted to quickly put a coat of the same flat black on the tire as I did with the uh, the other rims the other tires and rims over there so I'll let that dry hanging up here it's actually drying pretty quickly I'm pretty surprised uh, maybe it's the dryness of the cold or not but uh, it's drying quicker than I thought it would that's why I'm able to put that uh, second coat on there and go ahead I did the tires here um, they dried pretty good I was impressed and we got the olive drab rims those are gonna look really nice when the whole project is done oh, here you can see all the different all of drab on the on the lug nuts and everything else of the rim these are actually made from as you know the tops of old spray cans and there's a this is a been pretty unique to some of these uh creations i've been making i've been recycling uh materials that i could find around because i don't have a ton of money like the rest of us so it looks really sharp came out really good but um, I don't have a tripod and I, for my phone or for my camera. And I'm not, you'd think an artist like me would be very good at uh, editing this material. I haven't done any research yet. I will do that. So forgive me here for not, being, not having a tripod to watch the actual process of working on these things. Because they are super fun. And uh, as an artist, uh, it's good to get away from the oil paints and get away from the uh you know the the uh, comic book drawings and the sculpture and and do some hands-on stuff here with these miniatures and this is going to be like a uh you know this is going to be a heirloom piece for my kids and i don't believe i'm going to sell it if somebody wants it bad enough then i, I t i'll take a grand for it but other than that it's not going anywhere um <clears throat> and when this project is done I'll move on to the full scale project this uh get my vehicle done I got to uh, do some interior work on the driver's side door and the driver's side door the driver's side um window window switches um driving this home I actually broke one of the switch because it was that cold out so I have to uh do a little work there so and I got some some nice uh, spray adhesive here for any of the interior parts that might have the interior is all leather and I got to uh, put the door panel back together so just in case I got that in case there's any ripped corners or anything but um, yeah lots of fun doing these projects and again I apologize for not having a tripod and not knowing how to edit these videos very good but um, <laughs> I'm not very good at putting my ugly mug on the t on the uh, thing so here goes and thank you for watching these videos and um it's been uh lots of fun have a great day and uh don't forget to subscribe don't forget to put a, a like on the videos thank you